This is a nice problem involving algebra, area and perimeter. Now we're given a rectangle with a length of x plus 1 and a square with a side length of x minus 1. And we're told that the perimeters are equal. Now for a square we know that its perimeter must be four lots of four sides x minus 1 which just equals 4x minus 4. This rectangle has a length of x plus 1 here so this length must also be x plus 1. I will call the height of this rectangle h. So this is h and this is h. So the rectangle has a perimeter of two lots of x plus one, so two x plus two, plus two lots of the height, so plus two h. Now then, we're told that the perimeters are equal. So I can find the height of the rectangle in terms of h, because if we look at this, two h plus two x plus two, that's the perimeter of the rectangle, must equal 4x minus 4. So I can find h in terms of x. So I can take away 2 and take away 2x. So 2h is take away 2x, we get 4x take 2x is 2x. Minus 4, take away 2 is minus 6. So in terms of x, h is just divided by 2, x minus 3. So the height of the rectangle in terms of x is x minus 3. Now then, we're then told that the area of the rectangle is 12. Find x. Now the area of this rectangle must be the base, x plus 1, times the height, which is x minus 3. And this must equal 12. So to find x, I need to solve this equation. I begin by expanding the brackets, x squared, 1x take 3x is minus 2x, 1 times minus 3 is minus 3, and this must equal 12. So to solve this equation, I must make it equal to 0, so I will take away 12, x squared, take away 2x, minus 15, equals 0. I'll then try to factorise it. Well, if I put x plus 3 and x minus 5 equals 0, 3 times minus 5 is minus 15, and 3 take away 5 is minus 2. So therefore the solutions are x equals minus 3, or x equals plus 5. Now because these are sides of objects, x equals minus would give a negative side length. We can't have that. So the solution must be x equals plus 5. So there we go. We found x for this problem.